And Team 12's Bram Resnick is taking a closer look tonight at the new criteria for reporting numbers. An alarming start to the day. The number of Arizona coronavirus deaths soaring to their highest number since the pandemic began four months ago. 67 reported in just one day. With respect to what happened today on the increase in number of deaths, I, I've looked into it and there's nothing fishy that I can see. Those 67 reported deaths, twice the previous high, include 32 reports overnight from Arizona's 15 counties. Plus, and here's what's new, 35 deaths from a review of death certificates going back to April 12th. We have been monitoring um, the deaths associated with COVID-19, and that's, that's a normal part of public health activity. What's changed, according to Arizona's public health director, Dr. Kara Christ, is the Federal Centers for Disease Control assigning a new code that's put on death certificates for a COVID-related death. It's based on an updated description of the infection. That's what this large number is. We know that we've gone back and looked at the death certificates and have identified additional deaths that have that code. There are still more death certificates to review. That means there will likely be more new COVID death reports from several weeks or a few months ago. The work could extend through a second COVID wave in the fall. Hopefully, the county and state health departments have uh, you know, sufficient staffing to actually go back and do, and do this work because I know it's important to families. So will all COVID deaths be tracked down? We will never be able to identify every death that was COVID-19 as COVID-19. There will be deaths that slip through the cracks. In Phoenix, Bram Resnick, 12 News.